Today we visited Smith Elementary to find out about their kindness project. Patrick James, I'm the principal here at Smith Elementary in Owasso. Um, our project has kind of become a kindness initiative, if you want to call it that, where we are attempting to connect links of kindness things that have happened with kids on, on sheets of paper from one end of our building to the other. Um, we presented it to the students as this is not I did something kind for somebody else, but the individual who received the kind act is saying so-and-so or Johnny or Susie or whoever it might be did XYZ for me. Um, and so it kind of became something that as we hear of all the things that are happening in the world, all the different things of, of this child was bullied or this child was excluded or this child had something happen to them at school, we wanted to kind of create a, an environment uh, that tied to our, uh, we have a bullying pledge that we share every Friday with our students during our Rise and Shine program. And, and I just, you know, encourage them, if we really believe what we're talking about, uh, then what are we going to do to show that? Because it needs to be not just what we say, but it needs to be who we are and what we do. And so that was kind of the charge I gave to our students last Friday during our Rise and Shine program and then kind of explain to them what we were doing. Uh, just because I feel like there's too much <laughs> of the negative side of things in the world today and our kids are hit with it too often uh, that I want them to be able to start being that true person that they really are, uh, that kind person. Uh, when we present it to the students, we talked to them about the uh, how it would be done, what we wanted them to do with it, that it was more along the lines of them telling us, this other student, this teacher, this parent volunteer in our building, whoever it might be, uh, did something kind for them. Uh, we have strips of paper available uh, out in the, in the cafeteria area that they can grab at any time. They can fill out. There's a box for them to put uh, those into. And then we will begin to link those uh, kindness links together to create a chain. Uh, starting in the middle of the cafeteria and working two directions uh, as an attempt to connect both ends of our building. We have our younger students in one end and we have our older students in the other. Uh, and so if we started at one end trying to get to the other, some students may not see the fruits of their labor till much, much later. And so we decided to start in the middle and work both ways to connect the two sides. Um, the students, and, and I happen to have parents in the, in the uh, assembly that we did on that particular day and I encourage them as well if a teacher has done anything kind for you if your students have done anything kind for you if you're willing to fill out those those uh, links we would be glad to put those up for you so it's it's parents it's teachers it's volunteers it's students uh, it's myself it's my office staff it's anybody that has received something kind um, by action or word or whatever it might be, I encourage them to fill out a, a little link and, and let us put that as part of our chain. I can, at times I can become emotional, especially when I'm talking about my kids. Uh, and my kids are my 565 students here. And so uh, on this particular day, talking about this particular subject and wanting us to live a life of kindness and treating others the way they ought to be treated, uh, I got a little emotional uh, myself. And many times students don't understand that sometimes that's a good thing, that it's not uh, emotion out of sadness, but emotion out of seeing something hopefully come to fruition that you kind of have in your mind. And so I even had a few students that uh, came up to me after our assembly and asked if I was okay. And, you know, and that always makes you feel kind of special that they, they look at you more, not just as the principal of the school, but as somebody that cares about them. And so I was able to write those down as links for me that, this student and this student both came up to me to share uh, a kind hug or a kind word to, to see how I was doing. Do you have an estimated time frame on when the chain you think would be completed or when you're going to do that? I don't know. It's just going to be on how they take it and run with it. Right. Uh, you know, I've had a few students, we sent a letter home on Friday uh, to the parents letting them know this is kind of what we're doing and we had actually put one of the links on each of the letters and ask the parents use this as a conversation piece this weekend. Uh, and if there's something you want to put on it, 
great. You can bring it back on Monday. If, if, if you're, all you're going to do is use it to talk about, that's perfectly fine as well. Uh, we were just trying to kind of kickstart it a little bit. And I wanted parents to know. I sent a school way out on that morning just saying, ask your kids what we talked about in, in Rise and Shine this morning. Because uh, I think it'll be something that you'll want to want to be able to have conversations with them about. Okay. You know, obviously we do something we want everybody to talk about it, but uh, uh, I've had a few. I've had a few come up to me, hey, I've got one of those, what do I do with it? Um, and so we were able to uh, set up uh, an area out in our cafeteria that will be seen at all the lunches. The kids go by it every day, that they can just grab one and drop it off. There's links sitting on the table, so all they have to do is grab one and fill it out and turn it in. So uh, not something that I've put on the teachers, please collect these from the students it's 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 student driven right. um, and then when we start to connect all those things uh, our leadership class which is uh, composed of a group of fifth graders um, led by Laura Yokley who is uh, one of our building uh, instructional assistants she's over that particular group and that club they will start to put those together and then we'll start to see the chain grow and hopefully by the end of the year and that was the goal that by the end of the year we would have uh, done a, so many kind things for each other that that chain would stretch from one end to the other yeah. and obviously my hope is that it goes there and beyond that we start back the other way and, and maybe we link back in the middle again uh, but i just felt like we needed to do something uh, like i said just the climate that we're living in these days uh, i know our little ones aren't necessarily affected by that because it's on the news and it's on other places but somehow it has to rub off on them in some way. And so I wanted them to, to be inundated with uh, as much positive things as we can uh, to help them to become, uh, my hope, a productive citizen one day.